In this video, we're going to take a look at the natural base E and natural logarithms, which we see on our calculators often as LN. Now let me start there because that's often a question. Why is natural logarithm um, written LN? Shouldn't it be NL? Well, it turns out that natural logarithm comes from the Latin name, the LN, which is logarithmus naturali. So there's our LN. So that's why natural logarithms are LN rather than NL. When we're working with the natural base and natural logarithms, we need to remember that all the rules of logarithms apply. So the natural is really just a special case. And it is simply just the log with the base of E that's our natural logarithm so it's the log with the base of E and E and the natural logarithm of E are just inverses so some specific properties that we see there one if we have the natural logarithm oops I don't know what I wrote that H for but if we have the natural logarithm and that's of E to the X power that's just gonna simplify to X because these two things are inverses of each other. In the same way, if I have e to the natural log of x power, that's going to simplify to just x. So those two things are inverses, and I'm going to use that fact along with the fact that I can take, if I have a logarithm and that number has a power, so let's say I have something like this. If I have the log base b of a to a p power that's equal to I can pull that p out front so I have p times the log base b of a and I can do vice versa so there's gonna be times when I might wanna take that number that's being multiplied there and pull it back into the exponent and there's also times when I wanna take the exponent and pull it out front so I'm going to use all those different properties in order to simplify and look at these, in which case we have the natural base E and natural logarithms interacting. So for this first one up here, as I look at it, I have the log of E to the 7x. Okay, well, if I remember natural logarithms and that power, I could pull that power out front here, and I would have... 7x times the natural log of e. Well, the natural log, remember that's, and I'm writing out more steps than I definitely need here, but just to be very clear of how this, this goes on, remember that the natural log is log base e, and then of e, well, remember this really means e to what power gives me e. Well, that would be e to the first power. So this piece right here is just 1, and 1 times 7x is just going to give me 7x. So we see how those two things undo each other, and I'm left with just the 7x, which was in the exponent. Let's take a look at this one right here. In this case, we have a 3 times this stuff up here in the exponent, and the the e and the natural log aren't going to undo each other at this point yet. We need to get that 3 out of there. And in this case, what we can do using this property right here, except that often we pull that exponent down, in this case we're going to take that number that's being multiplied, push it back up to an exponent. So this is going to be e times our e to the natural log. Ugh of x to the third power. Now that e and that natural log, they're inverses, so they go away, and I'm left with just x to the third. All right, let's take a look at this next one over here, where we have the natural log of e to the x minus 1 power. Again, I could go through all these steps to be clear, but we know that those are inverses, so I'm going to be left with just x minus 1. Down here, I have the natural log of 
x times the natural log of e to the third power. Well, in this case, what I could do is take that 3 and pull it up front. Because, again, my natural log and my e are inverses. So I'm going to take that 3 and pull it in front of there. So it's going to be x times 3 times the natural log of e. Well, that's just 1. So x times 3 times 1 is just 3x. And finally, this last one over here, we have 2 times the natural log of e to the x. Again, I can take that x, pull it down in front of that, and have 2 times x times the natural log of e. That stuff, just 1. So 2 times x times 1 is just 2x. All right, so working with natural base e and natural logarithms, remember, it's just a special case of logarithms where we have, it's the log with the base e. That's our natural logarithm. And that base e, remember, that's the 2.7 blah, 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 blah number. So inverses, we can use all the properties of logarithms. We know that they undo each other. So right here we saw that we just end up with x in those two cases. And also the power, we can pull it back down to the front or we can push it back up to be an exponent again. Hope this video was helpful. And remember, it's LN because of the Latin name logarithmus naturali. Work hard on your math and I know you'll do great.